Hey guys, and um, welcome to Thursday. You you might notice I've like I've done a thing, like half my hair is gone. But I'm very happy about it. So on today's episode, I posted like a little video yesterday, being like, send me questions, and you sent me a lot of questions. I was asking my friends around a couple of days before, being like, do you guys have any questions, just in case that I don't get any? But you, like, you guys are like on it. So let's just get into this. Okay, first off, if I pronounce people's names wrong, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Like, correct me in the comments, but I'm really sorry. Aeson has asked, what annoys me about YouTube? YouTuber books? And like, when you can sort of tell people have sold out and are no longer being themselves online. It's in the way they become commercialized, it's become so noticeable, it like, sort of just ruins your viewing pleasure. A couple of people have asked where I go to university. I just go to one of the London ones. I'm not gonna specify. Anna has asked how I like living in London and going to uni in London. I freaking love it. And I genuinely think I'd be so miserable if I went anywhere else. It was so perfect effect for me. I genuinely, I can't stand if I like, went somewhere else. I even told my parents running up to results here that if I don't get into a London uni, I was going to take a gap year. Like there was no, it was, it was all or nothing. Like there was no other way. I've had a couple questions about the hair. The reason for the hair is like A, because it was so fucking long and like just, it would get to a point where I was just like, I couldn't deal, couldn't be bothered to deal anymore. But I mentioned in the past, I really wanted to like cut it short, like just because. Um, I got told like, no, Emma, you wouldn't look very good like that. Um, and if, if a boy ever fucking tells you not to do something with your own body because they won't like it, go fucking do it. Don't let a fucking boy of all fucking things tell you, no, your hair won't be good at them. No, don't do it. I think I'm fucking great, actually. Ooh, narcissism. Corona has asked tips on finding possible career paths and what I want to do when I'm older. In terms of tips, I just think about what you do when you're wasting your time. When I'm wasting my time, I am, look, I'm watching films, I'm watching YouTube, I'm making YouTube videos. For me, it's always been something to do with the camera. Like if I was like enjoying myself and like having my sort of time off, it, it was YouTube. So like for me, it's anything to do with film, which is kind of then becoming to the fact that I want to be a director, I want to make films, that's what I want to do with my life. It's that whole bullshit quote of like, if you do what you love, you'll never would work a day in your life. Daniel has asked, do you have a religion or are you atheistic? I am Catholic, but I would describe myself not as atheistic at all, but more like agnostic, because you can be a theist, agnostic, or atheist. I'm definitely not atheist but I'm not, not like hardcore Catholic either. A couple of people have asked what I'm studying at uni. I, a lot of people get this wrong actually. I am not studying film. For the last time, I'm not taking film. This is mainly people who like actually know me. They all think I'm doing film. I'm not, I'm taking comparative literature with film, but I'm actually like trying to cut the with film off my degree because I can't, I just, I can't stand it. If you want to make films, you do not have to study film to make films. I really don't enjoy the way they teach and what I'm being taught, and especially because you never talk about the film, like you only talk about the reading. And I'm not really good at it either. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. I wrote two essays, one for complet and one for film. I wrote them two days apart, and there was a 28 mark difference. A 28 mark difference. Like, that shouldn't happen. Like, I should at least be able to be consistent in my essay writing, but no. So I don't think it's for me. So I'm just gonna leave the whole writing about film to like the other people on my course. Like they can write about my films later. That, that's fine. I may go ahead and disagree with all of what they say just to annoy them, but like, they can go all film scholary, scholary on my films. I'm just gonna make them. I'm just, I'll fuel them. And he has asked me what motivates me to do YouTube and who inspires my videos. Um, at the moment, who inspires my videos is probably like Hannah Witten, Lucy Moon. I, I saw them, I saw Hannah's like live show doing a live, so freaking good. And then in terms of vlogging, got like Casey Neistat because he's like the god of a daily vlog. Also Louise Pentland. I freaking love her weekly vlogs so friggin' much. So I want to get a balance between that because I'm gonna start vlogging again the moment my exams are over. So I'm like really excited about that. And in terms of motivating me to do YouTube, <laughs> a love of it. I think in terms of just doing sit down videos like this, it's I think it's an ego thing, really, because I know that I'm good at editing it and I can do it really quickly and it's just, I'm, it's just something I'm good at and I enjoy doing it, so I just enjoy the pleasure of just the whole experience of making a YouTube video and everything that comes with it. I'm not used to the hair yet, I love doing that. I'm so fucking obsessed. Uh, my friend never has asked me, have I renounced alcohol? The answer is yes. I renounced alcohol for the second fucking time this month. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, if somebody mentions your ex, like, you're gonna down the glass of wine, and then you're gonna think it's a great idea to down another glass. It's just, it's a very, very slippery slope. So, I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Elizabeth has asked if I speak any other languages besides English. The answer is yes, I do. There's a whole video on Ophelia's channel about me being bilingual. I will link that for you in the description, um, but I also study French. She also asked me, like, who are some of my favorite artists? Brackets, like singers, I mean, who I'm really into right now. Honestly, <laughs> Harry Styles. <laughs> so badly. Like, oh my fucking God. I just can't, it's so good. <sighs> On YouTube, I've just kind of been playing like over and over again ever since New York. I just cannot, I can't get over it. And I don't want to get over it. It's fucking great. Oh, then also, um, Sarah Close. She's a YouTuber, but her mute, she's just released an EP and it's so friggin' good. Guys, she is fucking killing it. And like, it's not even just like a, oh, she's a YouTuber. Like, it's because I really love her videos. Just, if you just, even if you just heard it and had no idea she was a fucking YouTuber, anything like that, it is just, bomb AF and I'm gonna link her down below because like, literally it's so friggin good <gasps> Ophelia like how many fucking comments have you left on this video? <laughs> Jesus. Oh lord. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to impress someone romantically? Oh Christ. I don't know. Take my clothes off. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think I've ever specifically made a point of doing anything to impress someone. I'm not gonna lie, they're usually trying to impress me. <laughs> like, probably pretending to like horror films, because I fucking hate horror films, but I like, I will like pretend to like them just for the sake of cuddles. E. Smith has asked, who is your favorite film director and why? I'm really, really, really annoyed because I have the perfect like thing to answer this with. I have, and I don't have it here, but it's a, it's a mug that says written and directed by Sofia Coppola. Like, I friggin' love her films. I just, I want, I just, can she just needs to make more. That would be nice, please. It's her aesthetic in terms of everything she does is just visually beautiful, um, as well as the fact that she writes and directs. Like, that's just what I, I just wanna be. If I could just be Sofia Coppola, that would be great. But I also really like the Coen brothers. Like, I love, oh, their films are really, really good. Um, and then I also like Christopher Nolan a lot. I'm really happy, I haven't been asked that before. Cicela has asked, out of all the places, countries I've been to, which has been my favorite and why? Ooh. Uh, it's difficult because some places that are like f abroad do actually feel like home to me because I've been there so many times. So I'm just gonna go for like a proper pa Paris, I suppose, because um, I would say like the south of France, like Provence and stuff, but like I know the area so well that it doesn't like feel like I'm abroad in a way. Um, so I'm just gonna say Paris. It's so pretty. A couple of people have asked along the lines of if I have a job or if YouTube is my job or if I want to make videos forever. The answer is no, I don't have a job. I'm just studying at the moment. Also with YouTube as my job, um, I don't think people understand that you need a lot of subscribers for you to be able to actually like sustain yourself from YouTube. And I just don't think people understand how much YouTubers actually make. If you think about the people who do YouTube full time, most of them have like hundreds of thousands, if not like millions of subscribers. Like, that, like, you need that to be able to, like, properly sustain yourself. YouTube as a job is a very weird concept to me because it's just, I mean, I make videos in my bedroom. Like, it's not a full-scale production kind of thing. So, the idea of this as a job is very weird. It's just a thing I really enjoy to do. So, um, YouTube as a job, no. Making YouTube videos, like, forever? It just depends how long the platform is around, really. I'm still definitely gonna keep making videos, like, in a format of vlogs. And, like, when I have kids and stuff, I'm gonna definitely, like, film them, because it's just nice things to have, nice kind of memories to have. But then, it, whether I put it on the internet, it's completely different, like, kettle of fish, so. Only time will tell. Katie Jane has asked, what are the things I've learned and didn't know about before going to uni? I think one kind of important one is between like you and your friends, you can have very remarkably different experiences. I thought like going to uni, you all kind of have the same experience from wanting to be an ex and be so different and I just was not expecting that, which means that sometimes your expectations like won't be met and other times they'll be exceeded. I think it was quite difficult for us going, like for all of us who like after boarding, we, I think we were expecting it kind of to be the same but like better and I just feel like with a lot of people I've spoken to like they kind of being the experience almost let us down and I feel like a lot of us because we boarded haven't had those expectations met in the way that we like thought they would be I feel like before you get there uni is very very hyped up like like it's this thing of like oh my god you're finally free and it's like well 
not really, you still got a 9am seminar, you should still probably go to it, because even though like you could not go to it, it'll fuck you in the arse later, because when you've got so much work to do, like, you don't really understand what you're supposed to be doing. Your uni experience will vary from your friends, but try and make the most of it, and the fact is it's only a couple years before you're like thrust into the real world. She also asked if I'm going to uni accommodation again or not, the answer is no. <laughs> no! I did not enjoy halls, at all. All. The way the building is organised is very antisocial. Like I know some people who live in halls and their corridors like are very social and then it's so easy to like, it's like how could you not be friends with the person who lives next door? I barely know the two people who live next door to my room. I really hated it. I just kept coming here. So then obviously it like perpetuated the fact that then obviously I didn't get to know anyone in halls. It's because also mine is intercollegiate. My halls are intercollegiate. So it's just much more difficult. Your life is just more separate than the people around you if you were to just be at the same uni that's already like a foundation of something. Personally, I would not recommend, in London at least, going into intercollegiate halls. And it's just annoying because I didn't want to go to halls in the first place. So it's like one of these major like, I told you today things with my family, it's like <laughs> But then some people I know have also had really like bad luck with like people they've had in flats because they just don't like the people they've had and then you're stuck with them so then it's even worse. So it's really like a lucky draw, I will be honest with you. It can go tits up either way, but no, I'm not going back to student accommodation. Now I'm here. Like I said, <laughs> I've escaped from horse. Tiny freckle. <laughs> I was asked, what books, movies, TV shows am I really into at the moment? Like, I can't be into any TV shows because I have exams and I'm meant to be studying. By the moment my exams are over, I'm going to rewatch Gossip Girl. It's just Chuck and Blair, okay? <laughs> but also I would really like season two of The Crown to like come out, like is that, that, that would be lovely. Film and not much else has asked, you once said you wrote a fanfic, what were they about? Could we read some of them? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 indeed. Um, I'm actually gonna do a whole video <laughs> on this if you would like. It was about One Direction. I have a fucking Harry Styles cardboard fucking cutout from like 2012 in my fucking wardrobe. Like, his hair was still so curly. <laughs> it is like cringy as fuck, but it's so freaking funny. <laughs> it's on Wattpad. I will see if I can link it below. I will do this because I feel like it just has to happen. The aftermath of being like a hardcore fangirl is real, okay? The cringe is fucking real. I just seen this other one from Ophelia. <laughs> can we go out to a smashing gay bar, please? Yes. Yes, we can. My friend Ellie has asked me, top five people, dead or alive, who would have at a dinner party. Marie Antoinette, Sophia Coppola, my mum, Liz Taylor, and probably Michelle Obama. She's asked me this before and I write it down. I think, I think that's exactly the same thing I said last time. But it's exactly the same people had last time. Like, I'm, pre I'm pretty set in my ways. Minion Buster has asked, what is my lucky charm? Um, honestly, like, sunflowers. So this bracelet is just probably one of my favorite things that I own. It's just so freaking pretty. I like cried when I got it. <laughs> I was just really emotional. <laughs> my friend Emily has asked me, what would be my happy memory to create my Patronus with? I just, I just love this question. I think it's definitely one of sort of the last days of school that I had. We'd had this big house in it because our house master was stepping down and I was on a table with my friend like Camilla um, but then our tutor's also there and like our tutor freaking loves us so like he didn't care that we were like wine like just yeah so like myself and Camilla were like a tiny bit tipsy but you're just kind of like in a really like jolly mood and like my group of friends and vibers we all end up back in um, one of our friends room Zoe she was head of house so her room's like the biggest that's where I was in there um and I just remember being I think <laughs> I think I was like lying on Ophelia's lap. I think it was Ophelia. And like, she was just like stroking my hair. And like, we were all just laughing. And it's just one of those like really nice, like cozy memories, but like literally nothing can ruin it. Cause that's the thing with like, if it's a happy moment from a relationship is the moment that relationship ends, like no matter how good that relationship was, it just turns so sad. I just love that memory because nothing can ever ruin it for me. And so my, cause I myself and Camilla are just like, like lying on her bed, like giggling. And then we're just all having a really good time and it just makes me really happy. So, and Emily was there as well. I feel like I've mentioned all my friends, so like I should have mentioned Emily was there as well. Whom you've met on the vlog back in the day. And also I think because in that moment, like I, I think I'd finished all my exams. I didn't have any results yet. I was about to like start the summer. It's like, it's like in that moment, my life was the most perfect it has been. And especially because I had the least problems I'd ever have. So I think it's like the most, freely happy I've been because I just didn't have any responsibilities or any anything to worry about so I could just be happy it was the only thing I could do 
Um, so quite a lot of people have asked me if I am single. The answer is yes, I am single. However, no, I am not available in any freaking way. However, if you would like to apply for the position of girlfriend slash boyfriend, please send in a handwritten letter explaining why I would like the role. You need a recommendation from two mutual friends, as well as sending in a copy of your family tree. I don't even think that makes sense. Family tree, I don't even, I'm trying to make it like a meter stick, never mind. Truth is, we figured out I have such a fucking type and I don't even know how. The tab posted like this sort of like meme and like two of my friends who don't even know each other like tagged me in it within the space of about 20 minutes. Like, come on. I have saved the best till last. Um, some of you may know Georgia Needs a Life. I'm actually doing a collab with Georgia um, next week. My channel has been run amok with like blondes and collabs, I know. I d what is it with me and blondes? George's question is, snog, marry, kill. Theresa May, Donald Trump, and Prince Charles. Like! Right, basically, I would kill Trump. I'd snog Theresa May, and I'd marry Prince Charles. Because, I mean, if I have to marry one of them, I may as well get a crown out of it. I mean, I may as well just usurp Camilla's place. <laughs> Thumbnail and very confusing title question mark. I hope you have now found out everything you never realised you didn't want to know about me. Anyway, like, subscribe and all that jazz. I will see you guys on Thursday with a video of Georgia, who I shall link below. Thank you for your questions. I hope I've answered them to your satisfaction. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. right. Lipstick and the crown and the... And look, I coordinated. Uh, that is how friggin' OCD about this stuff I am. But yeah. Bye. Mwah. Snogging Theresa May about a clickbait title, especially with a whole general election coming up. Ha <laughs> ha!